Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In this session, I want to show an overview of JRA training centers. My main focus will be on the Miho training center, where I am working for. And I talk about the facilities and future development in this decade. First of all, I show our training centers as they are today. We JRA manages 10 race courses located in Japan. With the exception of Sapporo and Hakodate in Hokkaido in summer, we do not rear or train horses at race courses. Rearing and training of horses take place mainly at two locations, Miho Training Center in the East. Little training center in the west of Japan. Horses scheduled to run are transported from each training center to race course on the day or one day prior to the start. The stables and training facilities were situated together at race courses in all the dates. Breaking, rearing, and training of horses and racing were all held at race courses. With the development of Japanese economy in 1950s, the popularity of horse racing has grown and number of horses has increased. Meanwhile, some serious social problems, problems emerged. For example, the complaints about the noise in early morning orders and some other negative impacts on their living environment erupted from the neighborhood residents. The lack of land for the stables and training facilities with growing number of horses. The damages on the track surfaces by continued use for both racing and training. To resolve these problems, JRA made the decision to build training centers and separated roads of racing, race courses and training centers. Race courses were for race meeting and customer service. Training centers were for rearing and training horses while maintaining natural environment. Little Training Center opened in 1969 and Miho in 1978. JRA set a goal to develop world-class horses to be able to compete on the international stage. And the training centers took on various roles to achieve this. The main role was to provide facilities to enable various training to fit with the physical condition and the character of individual horses. The isolation of the training centers and the strict control for entry contribute to high integrity and prevention from spreading of infectious diseases. Furthermore, the station in which horses scheduled to start need to stay and train at training centers will be very efficient for racing media to get sufficient information to provide to racing funds. This process has contributed greatly to enhance the development, or development and popularity of JRA racing as a form of entertainment. In order to take full advantage of these benefits, we, pro we improve the surrounding environment, like providing free transport between training center and race courses, and housing with low rent fee for stable staffs. Now, I want to show you the video of Miho Training Center. This video was made two years ago in commemoration of 40th anniversary. Please note, some of the facilities are a little bit different from what we have now. Miho Training Center is about 70 kilometers from Tokyo. The total site is 2.24 million square meters, and there are roughly 2,000 horses stabled 
and 5,000 racing connections such as stable staff leave. We have two training tracks in North and South, and also one appeal course. The South track is the main training course, and the chip course is the most popular. The material on the chip course is a mixture of Japanese cedar and red pine, which keeps excellent quality of cushioning and drainage and not affected so much by the weather conditions. These are poly -track, new polytrack and tough courses. The new polytrack is resistant to freeze and also not affected much by the weather conditions. The cushioning is nearly the same, at, same as the chip, and grip is mostly the same as turf. The turf course here has the same structure as GRA race courses. The dirt course allows training even on or, uh, rainy or snowy days, and has been used for a long time to fit for the climate in Japan. Adjacent to the south track, there is an uphill course. It has an overall length of 1,200 meters and a difference in elevation of 18 meters. This is covered by wood chip. The horses running up the uphill, even with light exercise, can achieve almost the same effect as intense training on flat course. The north track is slightly smaller than the south. There is a steep chase course used for jumping practices. But currently, fewer horses are trained in the north, since the south track has more varieties of courses. Within the training center, we have an indoor swimming pool for horses. It can be used throughout the year. With the training in the pool, the buoyancy makes it possible to strengthen the function of heart and lungs without a burden on their legs. The water treadmill is annexed to the pool. Horses can be trained with buoyancy while reducing strength, leg strength by 40 to 45 percent. On the north of the training center, there is a cross country promenade with overall length of about one kilometer. This is used to cool down after training and is highly effective for relaxing. We also have a race horse hospital within the training center. With the latest technologies and equipment, we provide medical care for horses, including equine tests, examinations, treatment, and operations. The major surgeries are operated here, such as extracting bone fragments under general anesthesia. And recently, an equine MRI and a CT scanner were installed, but not on this video. This is a current quarantine stables. Not all, all GRA horses are in the training center. Some run at nearby private farms. But GRA horses are required to stay at training centers for at least 10 days prior to the schedule to start when they come into the training center from outside private farms, they must undergo quarantine. 
So far, I have talked about the current Miho Training Center. As I mentioned at the beginning, we will conduct a large scale renovation of our facilities in this decade. Major innovations will be the following four. One, change of chip course from 1,600 to 2,000 meters. Two, install the ARIS for the chip course. ARIS stands for Advanced Lab Time Information System, which is an automatic training time measurement device. Three, extend the sloped portion of the appeal course from 430 to 1,040 meters, and raise the difference in elevation from 18 to 33 meters. Four, close the nose track and build new staves on the land. The chip course is changed from 1,600 meters B course in blue, second from the inside, into 2,000 meters D course in red on the far outside. This is aimed to apply mud training roads on horses. The new course was opened last September. Now, Accurate time measurement of training is very important for trainers. This is for planning the training menus and managing the horse's health. Meanwhile, for the racing funds, accurate training time will be one of the key factors for their handicapping, especially for the betting lovers. At present, the training time is measured by racing media. But under poor weather, like very foggy or snowy, they cannot take the time. That is why we have a plan to install the ARIS by 2021, which is already installed on the uphill course with proven accuracy. Here, I want to explain briefly the structure of ARIS. All horses in training are required to wear number cloth. We insert IC chip into the cross. This chip emits radio waves and antennas installed at some point along the track to receive the signal. The time is measured every 200 meters, one far on, but to avoid some errors, we set two antennas at each point. The median collected from two antennas is a running time for each far on. And it will be sent to remote printer and monitor. This time measurement system has been already installed on the pure course. The data of each point is automatically sent to a server, which is calculate the total running time of 800 meters and also the interval for each farm. Next, I want to explain the extension of sloped portion on the uphill course. As shown in the video, the training up on the uphill is very effective to put a road even at slower speed. In particular, it is very helpful for training hind limbs and improving the running form. We can say that the training on the uphill has contributed to the rapid development of the performances of Japanese horses in these years. The current uphill course in Miho has a total length of 1,200 meters. But as shown in the blue line on the screen, 670 meters of the first half are mostly flat. Because of this, there have been some concerns that exercise load may be insufficient, and the switch from flat to slope may disturb the running form and trigger injury. As shown in the red line on the screen, to eliminate those concerns, we have a plan to dig the ground near the starting point by 15 meters and make the entire course an upward slope. This is a perspective drawing of the new uphill course. By digging down and lowering the starting point, 
we will increase the difference in elevation by 15 meters and extend the length of slope by 600 meters. The new appeal course is scheduled to open in 2023. Currently, the most commonly used training course is Uchip course in the South. Therefore, the use of North Track, which has only that courses, has been decreasing. The management and the maintaining both North and South Tracks are quite costly, and it would be desirable to integrate the function of training facilities. Furthermore, 40 years have passed since Miho Training Center opened, so stables are aging and have some problems like earthquake resistance. The replacement is in need at once, but we must first secure the site for the new facility. Therefore, we decide to close and demolish no track, and on site, we will build a new stable area, including race horse hospital. On the left side of the screen, you can see the current stable, and on the right side is a new type. The current stable is comprised of a row of stall and long walkways. On the other hand, the new stable has a face-to-face -face design. This change will save the space and allow to see the entire stable. It will be more manageable for trainers. 16 new stables are already built, and now they are used. The front yard space is appears to be utilized with their own ideas, like installing working machines. The replacement to the new stable will be completed in 2026. I have shown the improvements of our training facilities. Here, I want to show you the change of disposal method of the used bedding. At Miho, rice and wheat straw are mainly used for bedding, and the amount of disposal has accumulated to 26,000 tons per year. We have recycled them as fertilizer for mushrooms and soil conditioner for rivers. But the demands for used bedding have been decreasing in recent years. And it is uncertain as to whether we could continue the current disposal method. Therefore, we decide to build our own power generation facilities to dispose of used bedding. The biomass fire power plant will work sustainably without external factors. And it is also expected to be the electric power supply in emergency cases, such as power outage by natural disaster, and also reduce our electricity expense. At Rito, it is in operation since last September, and at Miho, it is scheduled to run from 2021. This shows how the biomass plant works. Wood shavings were not allowed because before, there are no way to dispose them. In this plant, we can dispose of wood shavings too. Today, I talked about the evolution of JRA training centers. Miho Training Center is a less than one hour drive from Narita International Airport, which is the biggest gateway to Japan. I hope that you will drop by our still evolving facility on your next visit to Japan. We, the staff at, at, at Miho, are always very happy to welcome you. Thank you.